Greetings, everyone, to my good friends at the Massachusetts Developmental Disabilities Council, to the ARC of Massachusetts, to all who've gathered to get today. Thank you for that kind invitation, and thank you, Warren, for that introduction. First and foremost, thank you for what you do on behalf of individuals with different abilities, to advocate for their needs, to make sure families get the supports they need, and their loved ones the support that they need in order to thrive each and every day. This past year has been an extraordinary challenge. We know that. But we've stayed together, we've worked together, we've worried together, we've found opportunity together. Your efforts are absolutely critical to enhancing the lives of individuals we serve and who are your loved ones so that they have opportunity even during a time of pandemic. And it's really important to acknowledge the needs and the supports of families and caregivers. There are more than 40,000 families that comprise the community of individuals with different abilities in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You let your voices be heard, your resilience, your creativity, your nimbleness, and yes, your patience has been remarkable. And despite an extremely challenging year, we've had a few positive milestones. Once again, we ensured that the Turning 22 class was supported, filed by the governor, and completely endorsed by our colleagues in the legislature. The governor signed Nikki's Law, an important step in protecting your loved ones from abuse and neglect. Very important milestone, and I really applaud advocates and our colleagues in the legislature for finding common ground in passing that very important piece of legislation. And we delivered a significant rate increase for the 15,000 direct care support professionals who work in our long-term adult services residential programs across the Commonwealth. Together, we are in this. In response to the pandemic, we have tried to be flexible, giving the services and support so that staff can support your loved ones and clients in the best possible way. Please know that, and we will continue to work together. It has been a hard year, and we know that vaccines are the hope for the future. We were very proud in Massachusetts where we took a different path around vaccines. And in our phase one, as I think all of you know, but just to remind us that our phase one prioritized our congregate care programs from our larger state facilities to our smaller group homes, state operated and state financed. And those were among the very first to be vaccinated, staff and residents. Please know that it has always been important to us to support individuals with different abilities and disabilities in Massachusetts. I want to give a shout out to two very special legislators, and I know that they're going to be joined by the Speaker of the House for Representative Cutler and Senate President Karen Spilka for, Senate, for State Senator Mike Rogers. These gentlemen always care, always carry your issues to heart. They never trade them off and they have worked time in and time out, day in and day out for the issues that you care so deeply about. So to Representative Cutler, congratulations for being the state representative of the year and to Senator Mike Rodriguez, congratulations for your award as legislator of the year with the Developmental Disabilities Council and the Mass Arc. We work well together, we work hand in hand together on behalf of all individuals with disabilities in our Commonwealth. Thank you, take care. I hope this virtual day comes together in the way that's important to all of you. And I look so forward to being present, truly present with you in the future. And as we all now, it is my honor on behalf of Governor Baker to announce a special proclamation. 
March is Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. And every month in the Commonwealth should be Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. Thank you for having me. I'm Mary Lou Sutters.